The project was funded through the Weeds of National Significance project, which is part of the Central West Catchment Management Authority funding. It's been running for three years now, and this particular project was funded in the second year. And it's a joint project between Watershed Landcare, the Central West CMA, and Stress Free Stockmanship. This project was a little bit different in that it was a bit left of centre. It was um, something that we hadn't funded before and we were very, the, the Central West CMA were very attracted to it because it was innovative and it was trying a new approach to weed management that we hadn't um, been exposed to in the past. I think the project has a lot of spin-offs and I think definitely the, the main aim of the project was to look at how animals would behave around serrated tussock and when they, whether they would incorporate it into their diet, which we definitely saw evidence of when we were out in the paddock which was fantastic. Some plants that had been eaten down quite a lot, others that had been eaten at different stages through their growth. So um, the cattle were definitely curious about it, which was really nice to see. And I think another spin-off of the project was the people side of it as well. Um, the fact that Landholders in the district were exposed to another way of looking at grazing management on their weeds. They went into that paddock and they weren't hungry that they had come in from another fresh paddock. So, yeah, the fact that they were still going to a plant to have a look at it and maybe have a munch on it was really interesting that they were still curious enough to have a look at it even though they weren't, they certainly were not starving, like they were going in as really healthy cattle and they were still willing to have a bit of a, a look around at everything in that paddock. Giving them the opportunity to choose and select what they want to eat at a certain time of day or a certain day or a certain season, I think that's, that's a really interesting part of this project. Effectively, we're not utilising a lot of our place because they're not utilising a lot of the plants that are in our paddock. So if we can make them explore and experiment with lots of plants in the distant corners, I think that's a, that's a, a great tool. Uh, you can do a lot with smaller paddocks, you know, and, and using grazing management, uh, but unless those animals are in a state of mind that they're going to relax and they're going to explore paddocks and eat, eat experiment with different plants, it's, you, you're not using the, your full toolbox. I definitely think it warrants more research. It would be pretty exciting to do that. <laughs>